you know, there's a big difference between an open mind and a hope to find. See, a lot of people claim that they have an open mind. Very few, if any at all, truly have an open mind. We all have a hope to find. Some people will claim that they have an open mind to God. But honestly, they hope to find out that he's not real. They hope that he's not real. So they search evolution, evolutionary science. They search secular science for answers. Why? Because they're searching for what they hope to find. And then you have people that God has softened their heart and has revealed himself to. And then they are open to God because God has first touched their heart and has first revealed himself to them. So after God reveals himself to you, then you will be able to truly search for the truth. This is what happened to me. It wasn't like I just needed a God to believe or I was just tired of the way I was living. You know, I was completely content with drinking beer every day. I loved it. I loved, um, you know, chasing girls, trying to have sex. I love smoking weed every day. I love living rough and wild. I love listening to rap. But when God revealed himself to me, I, I couldn't believe it at first. It's like, wow, this just can't really be real. But it was. And I found out it was. And that's when I was hoping to start searching for new information. And then not only did I find information that God was real, but I also found out that the information that I was started looking for was much more logical than the, athe the atheistic view of life, that everything came from nothing, which is really just completely crazy to believe. It's literally insane. It's like the definition of insanity is doing the same thing but expecting the different results. Well, every day we do the same thing. We look at nothing and we never see something come from nothing. So it is completely insane to think that all of a sudden nothing will turn to something. That's insane. That's looking at the same thing we see every day and expecting something different. So there's an insanity and a deprived mind that comes from the atheistic worldview. A lot of things I say and a lot of things I put on these um, posts that I make, I know that a lot of people will not accept them, not because they're not true, not because they don't make sense, but because their heart hasn't been touched by God. And uh, Paul tells us in the Bible that um, he's the one that planted the seed. He said, Apollos watered the seed, and then, but it's God who gives the growth. So without God giving the growth, without God giving you that breakthrough, without God revealing himself, no matter how true it is, we will chase the insanity of atheism because it's what we hope to believe. It's because it's what we hope to find. We don't truly have an open mind. Something to think about. There's a difference in indoctrination and the God that made us. It's not as crazy as y'all done made it think. There's a difference in information and emulation. The simulation is denigrating the him that made us. There's a difference in saturation and fabrication. Collaboration with laughing Satan is aggravating. There's a difference in my open mind and I hope to find. Can't rope a climb or rope a slime, you're going down.